Today is, uh, we are all at Intergeo, and I want to explain some of the items that we have done before, and we have perfected it, and we want to inform users. As we know, there are more spoofing in international waters of this earth. And also, I've heard that some people have said private industry have not done much to protect against interference and protect against spoofing. Now I want to claim today that we have done the ultimate in not only defending and finding these spoofers, but blocking them and will not let them, spoofers, to change our direction of navigation to put us somewhere else. And I need to talk some technical details to see how deep we have explored this subject. We have eight different items that we show in our uh, GPS receivers and then our OEM boards. Be signals before doing any signal processing and after. They start, things are simple things that how many satellites we track. To also compare the signal to noise ratio that we get comparing to what we expect to get at this elevation angle if there is no interference. So we say, for example, at this elevation angle, GPS ICD says we should have 45 dB Hertz signal to noise. If it is less, we see to what level, and we suspect that somebody is doing something in our neighborhood. Then also is we say, what is the extra energy that exists in this band compared to what we recorded when we calibrated our receiver in our anechoic chamber that is completely quiet. We measure the background spectrum and how much power it is. Now we measure, comparing to the quiet area, how much energy we have now. Number three, what is the variation in this uh, change of energy. How much does it vary? The more we see variation, it means man-made interference. Next one is automatic gain control. We need to amplify the signal to bring it to some level so we able to process. If we need to amplify less to bring it to that level, it means there has been some more signal in addition to GPS that raised our floor, so we have to amplify it less. It's called the value of automatic gain control. The other item is the variations in automatic gain control, or RMS of automatic gain control. Then the other item is each signal has one peak. If one correlation peak, if we detect one correlation peak, we do not stop because there may be one spoofer that puts another fake signal. We go and find if there is more than one, we decide that there is a spoofer and also we detect, we know from other sources which one is true, which one is not true. So you may say that some spoofer may first kill the valid signal and then put on top of it another signal. This we measure. The person to kill our signal must introduce a big amount of noise. So when there is no noise, we say we have zero percentage noise. Then we measure the amount of noise not processed signal, just the raw noise that comes into the RF section compared to the bottom noise. If there is noisy, we know that somebody spoofed us, 
somebody first killed us and then put this uh, uh, extra fake signal on top of it. So this is another item that we show, percentage of noise. Then the last item we says how many of our satellites have been spoofed and how many satellites have not been spoofed. Okay, so now the names that we refer to them, number of satellites, DSNR in this picture means how much variation from a standard, energy means how much extra energy, energy RMS is how much variation in energy, AGC and RMS AGC I explained, then noise, percentage, if it is up to 10% noise, we don't worry much. If more than 10%, 20%, we become suspicious. If there is a spoofer, for certainly they have about 100% noise. So then we show the number of those that had been spoofed. This first screen shows the general uh, screen of our Triumph LS. When you click on this 19 plus signal uh, screen uh, number of satellites, you get to this screen that shows all bands of all GPS, Coronas, Galileo, and everybody else. And in each screen, there are eight numbers. These eight numbers are those that I already explained. You click on any one of this, you get to the fourth slide that has the summary of the original numbers plus the normalized number. Zero means very good, nine means very bad. So in here you see zero, one, two means everything is good. Now the summary of all these numbers are in the next screen that instead of showing eight numbers on each screen, we show the summary of or average of all eight items with a number between one to nine. So people don't need to go see all the details. Next screen is the spectrum of the signal. First one is GPS L1, and you see there on the center, the power of raw power of GPS signals. The other is GPS L2. Then next screen is the spoofing screen. Shows the characteristic of the first peak and the second peak. In this screen, you see only first peak has any noticeable energy. The second peak, which everything is gray, means there has not been a second peak. And the cover, the column that shows noise, they are all 0%. Means quiet, clean area in the roof of our office in part of Silicon Valley in California. And the last screen shows each band with the summary of how many satellites are there, how many have been spoofed, and the power of noise or percentage of noise in that screen